if you don't do this, you can't get better at math. You just can't do it. You might not be doing it. Most people do it. And in this video, we're going to talk about what this is, and I'm going to show you the best way to do it, at least in my opinion. There's other ways of doing it, but this is one way I think that will pretty much guarantee that you'll get better at math. So what is this thing? It's actually doing math problems. And you might say, well, yeah, duh, but you'd be surprised, right? <laughs> you'd be surprised. Uh, I know a lot of people who just, you know, watch math videos and they don't actually do math problems, right? There's a difference between, you know, watching a video, which is great, I think, and actually sitting down with a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and actually doing a math problem. But doing math problems is tough, right? Because the math is hard. And also sometimes people have, you know, motivational issues. Like they can't, they can't get themselves to sit down and study for whatever reason. Instead, you know, they'll check their email, they'll go to Facebook, they'll watch a YouTube video. It's really easy to procrastinate. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips so you can actually start doing math problems and start getting better at math right now. The first thing you want to do in order to actually motivate yourself and start doing some math problems is to try to find a quiet location. And by quiet, I mean relatively quiet. I mean, it just depends on your living situation, where you live. Ideally, though, you want a distraction-free work area where you can sit down and just really, really get down and do some math. So try to find some place you can go. If your home is not an option, try to go to like a library. Most cities have libraries and they're pretty quiet. You can usually find a quiet spot in the library where you can go study. If it's not too hot outside or too cold outside, you can try to find a park or something. But if you live in a city, it might be kind of noisy. So I still think a library is a pretty good choice. So find a quiet spot. The second thing you should do is Time it. That's right. Get yourself a timer. And I don't mean using your cell phone. The problem with using your phone is that you always have it next to you. And so whenever it like lights up or you get a text, it's just so easy to get distracted. In fact, right now my phone is upside down somewhere else away from me because I would get distracted. My phone would light up. Oh, I have a text message. Who's that? Or, oh, I have a YouTube comment. What's that? So it's so easy to get distracted with cell phones. So you really want to get a timer and time it. Just an old school timer that times it. And I think that does two things. One, it keeps you away from your phone and from your computer. And two, it forces you to focus because you're on a time limit, right? If you go to a library, you set your little timer and you're like, I'm here for an hour today and I'm just going to spend an hour of my day, right? You've got 24 of them in a day, just one hour actually working out math problems. It makes a big difference. That timer really puts you into like this like hyper focus mode. It really, really works. I love my timer. It's like the best thing in the world. The last thing is the most important thing. It's to actually do all of this. And that's something that I think sometimes people have a hard time with. My advice is this. Get yourself to do it once. Get yourself to have a timed study session in a quiet location just once. And when you're done, I want you to ask yourself how you feel. Ask yourself, how do I feel right now? What have I accomplished? And then look at the time. It took you one hour. That's it. It's worth it. Once you, once you do it once and you realize that having these time study sessions of doing math problems works, you're going to keep doing it and it's going to become a habit. And once it becomes a habit, it's just something you do all the time. It doesn't have to be a daily routine. It's always better if it is, but some people have a hard time with daily routines. Try to make it an enjoyable habit that you do from time to time. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any advice for anyone about math or study tips or anything, people read the comments. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.